I've stopped the uh, actuator manually against the wall so I know now the distance I need to uh, adjust the, um, the limiter switch. Once you've taken the measurement of the shaft, as you can see here in the picture, then remove the actuator and then extend it fully and the distance between required length and the extended length in my case is 28 centimeters so the limiter switch will need to be moved back this amount remember make sure before you take this apart that you've disconnected the um, electric because what will happen as soon as you remove this the um, limiter switch it will actually go back and could do some damage so I've got it in a retract position it's probably best to um, undo it and then while you've got the shaft out it's ram the shaft on it and, or get your finger in it when this has come out to remove it so you want to undo this screw here this screw here and that screw there and then you'll find that this will slide off I've just undone the screws just gently pull it apart that operates the um, that's what operates the uh, micro switch there Well, there's the limiter, extended limiter this is, and that's the uh, retract limiter. So as soon as these are pushed, the actuator will stop. They fit in a groove there. You can see a little groove there, and that pushes in there, and it goes all the way to the end, and it keeps this, this strap here keeps it from coming back. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to cut off a length of this. So this pole won't extend further than I need to. I've worked out the measurement on the maximum actuator extended and then what I need it to extend it to and I I'm actually going to cut the difference off that I need. In my case, it's going to be 28 centimetres. Now you might ask what's stopping this limiter switch from extending too far. Well, when I cut this off, I will put a piece of this in the tube first. Thus making it not travel along the tube and breaking the wire. Well, I've cut the uh, strap to 28 centimeters. That's the amount I need for this to stop before it reaches the end of its extension. And I will feed this now into this groove. The actual switch from traveling too far on the circuit board. Now what we do is make sure the wires aren't twisted. Right, I've cut the um, wires off at 28 centimeters because we're now going to have the wires too long. And now I'll we'll solder these instead of these. If you haven't got a soldering iron, you can actually fold them underneath the strap out the way. Right, I've re-soldered the new wires on. And there's our 28 centimeters which we don't longer, no longer need. So if I remove the... Um, just pop 
the end of. Just pop the end off obviously because I can't get it through the Insert the um, like a switch into the hole with it. Obviously, you can only go one way anyway. And then put the strap in there. Now, if I'm going to keep the wires. Okay, so I want to make it longer. So I'm going to put the wires. Let me cut them off first. I'll keep the wires in case I ever need them. So I know they're in there. Before you do, make sure you got it switched off. Well, that's back together now. Don't forget you've got like one counter screw here. So I've just tightened up the screws. This one is okay, but just make sure you don't over tighten these two on the bottom. It just goes on the casing, really. They were very loose. So then we just put the cap back on. I'll do this one handed. All right, we have it all, all back together. I will switch it back on. Make sure that first operation goes steady just to make sure that the um, Limits are okay. It was 97 centimeters, 97 centimeters this distance. So now it should stop before that. It should stop at 69 centimeters. These actuators are very strong. 
if they extend too far when you don't need them it will actually bend this bar that's how powerful the motors are or it could do some damage to whatever it's fitted on by adjusting the limiter switch like I've done down cheese it won't extend further than you want these these push buttons here once you pressed it, it it will carry on until you stop it in the middle one but let's just measure this now and just see if that's 69 this was 97 centimeters this was 97 centimeters now if we measure it, it should be 69 bang on and that's how you adjust a linear actuator by moving the limiter switch and now I'll fit it into the frame and see if it's okay Yeah, these, like I said, these actuators are so strong. I've put a metal bar there, which is about three mil thick. So it don't, because it will snap this wood. It's that strong. And I've done the same the other end. Look. So let's just. ready to stop it just in case but it should stop now before it reaches the end Stop it just in case. I want to ruin the boat. Yep. Perfect. <laughs>